1. The Ducks have depth in the backfield. This was a sign of relief for the Ducks when Freeman left the game with an injury. Connie Benoit scored twice on the ground while racking up 138 yards. Tony Brooks James also scored and gained 76 yards on 16 carries while also having a long touchdown called back on a chip lock penalty. To top it off, Darian Felix scored his first touchdown of the year late in the fourth quarter. Obviously, everybody in Oregon wants Freeman leading the pack for the Ducks, but it seems that at least for the short term, the Ducks have capable replacements for one of the school's most accomplished running backs of all time. 2. Who Braxton Burmeister is. If you knew who the third string quarterback for Oregon was off the top of your head before Saturday night, kudos to you. The rest of the nation learned who Braxton Burmeister was after Herbert and his backup Eli were hurt in the game. Burmeister, a freshman, only attempted one pass, a four yard completion. The San Diego native had offers from Oregon State, Cal, and Washington, among others, and was a four star recruit, according to 247 Sports. 3. Oregon is still alive for a Pac 12 title. Was the loss to Arizona State a fluke? Maybe. The needle, at least, is trending in that direction after a dominant win against a well coached Cal team. The Ducks hung 45 points on the board despite losing two quarterbacks and its best running back. This was Oregon's most complete game of the year, as it survived a healthy dose of adversity and never reel into the lead. Oregon gets a huge opportunity to prove itself next week as it hosts Washington State.